Like several voters I talked to, Candace Hammer thought she could cast her primary day ballot at a regular polling place in Park Hills. There was a little sign up that said, we're doing this down at the center because of COVID-19. The coronavirus crisis delayed the primary by a month. It prompted state officials to let any eligible Kentuckian vote by mail, an option chosen by hundreds of thousands of residents. And because of the pandemic, in most counties, only one polling place is open for in-person voting. And I wanted this to be a, a good community event. I get that people were frustrated. This is not how Kentucky normally votes. Gabriel Summy is Kenton County clerk. She knows voters are energized by two races in particular. Statewide, Democrats will choose either Amy McGrath or late surging candidate Charles Booker to square off against Mitch McConnell in November. Local Republicans, meanwhile, are considering incumbent Congressman Thomas Massey or attorney Todd McMurtry. Those competitive races could lead to record turnout at polling sites like this one in Burlington and Boone County and at the convention center in Covington. Obviously historical numbers for Kenton County. While mail-in ballots will make up a big chunk of the vote total in the Bluegrass State, plenty of people decided to cast their ballot in person, even against the backdrop of COVID-19. I'm mad that I forgot my, <laughs> my mask, but everybody was practicing social distancing. Very easy, lots of uh, social distancing. It was perfect. It was actually very prompt, courteous, and effective. Yeah, I've heard that repeated throughout the day today. And, you know, you can see behind me, there's a little bit of an uptick as folks get off work and come uh, to the polling place here in Covington tonight. That's to be expected. Now, a warning to folks who are watching results tonight. You want to keep this in mind. When you see the percentage of votes that have been counted, that will be the percentage of in-person in person, excuse me, votes that were cast today. Uh, those mail-in ballots, they will not be released uh, for another week on June 30th. So we may not know the winners of some of those close races by the end of the night tonight. Reporting live in Covington, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.